Hi guys, we're ready for day two of our op art color wheel. So once again, here's our finished project. And today we're really just gonna focus on the primary colors, okay? Now, the reason why we're just doing the primary colors today is, is, I, is that so you can really focus on your coloring techniques with your colored pencils. So, when you get your paper, you have all of your lines done. But the first thing we're going to do today is you are going to turn your paper over Okay, so I'm going to just use another piece of paper since I wrote all over my other one. And you are going to draw one of the little cone shapes, like you can see I did on the back. Kind of looks like a piece of candy corn. And you're going to draw some lines, okay? We have to do a practice one before you get to start your final one. All right? Let's see if we can focus on it a little bit better. Okay, so you should have like this candy corn shape. And you're going to choose one of your primary colors of colored pencils to start with. I'm just going to use red for this, all right? Now, this is just a practice that you have to get your practice one approved before you get to start on your project. So I'm going to start at the top, and you're going to go as dark as you can along the edge. And when I mean along the edge, I mean along the side. I don't mean along the bottom, okay? Then you're going to go as dark as you can along the other edge, like as dark as you possibly can, okay? In order to make this look three-dimensional, like when we're looking at these ones, we need to have a dark, dark, dark edge and we need to fade it so that it kind of goes to white in the middle. That gives it like that rounded look. So I'm going to leave the middle completely white. Like I'm gonna color super, super lightly. And I'm gonna leave the middle completely white. Now, you're watching this video and you're probably thinking, I can't even see what you've done. That's good. Okay, the middle is completely white. I colored a little bit lighter, then I'm gonna color a little bit darker. And I'm gonna get darker as I go towards the edge of my cone here. Now, the top one's a little tricky because the space isn't very big, okay? But you wanna get a nice blend from light to dark, okay? Then you're going to skip the next one and you're going to start on the next one. So once again, I'm going to leave the middle completely white and then I'm going to color as light as I possibly can, like as light as I possibly can. Okay. The middle is completely white, completely white. And then I'm going to just start getting a little bit darker and see how I'm just moving towards the edge. Then I'm going to get a little bit darker. I'm going to get a little bit darker, and I'm going to get darker, and by the time you reach that edge, you should be pushing pretty hard with your colored pencil to get that really dark edge going on, okay? Now, we're going to do that to both sides, and you can always go back in and blend and fade and adjust. Once again, I've done this a lot of times. So I know how to blend and adjust pretty well. You guys are just practicing and learning. So that's why you're going to have to practice. You can see I have a really nice dark edge and then it fades and it's almost, and it's completely white. All right, now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm hardly applying any pressure at all to my color pencil, hardly at all. And I just gradually keep adding more pressure. Okay, so that one's done. I'm gonna hold it a little bit closer. So you can see the center is completely white and then it fades to really dark on the outside, all right? So these are good. Now I'm gonna do a couple bad ones so that you can understand what a bad one looks like. And I'm just gonna choose a different color for this just so that you can tell. I'm just gonna do purple just so that you, once again, can tell what we're doing, all right? Here's one thing that I commonly see a lot. 
the person who's doing it pushes as hard as they can. They leave white in the middle like they're supposed to, but then they push as hard as they can on the rest, and it's just a solid chunk of color, okay? That is not what we want. We want a gradual fade to the outside. Here's another thing that I see sometimes. I see they went really dark on the outside and they almost drew a line. You see which direction I'm coloring? I'm coloring this way. Then they leave the white in the middle and then they just have like one more. And then they leave white. So it's like solid kind of white. I also don't like coloring this direction up and down. I like the coloring with the shape of the we're just going to call it a candy corn, with the shape of the candy corn so that you can get, you can follow those lines and you can blend it in, all right? I just think vertical lines don't look like they blend in as much, all right? So you're going to do a practice one. You're going to skip, and you're going to do every other section. So you're not going to do this section. You're not going to do this section. Yes, you would do this section, okay? You have to get your practice one approved by Mr. O before you are allowed to start on your final project. If you do not get approved and it's really sloppy and it doesn't look good, guess what? You get to draw another one and you get to do it again. So I just suggest that you take your time and you try as hard as you can. All right? When you are ready to start on your final project, you are just going to color your three primary colors today. Now, if you don't get all three primary colors done today, that's fine. That's great. I'd rather you take your time. Okay? So when you look at your color wheel, you have a primary color, so red. Then there's three in between. Then there's another primary color like yellow, then there's three in between, and there's another one, like blue. So what I would do to start, just so that you can kind of map out where you're going to go, is choose a place to start, doesn't matter where, outline your edge with your first primary color, okay? So there's red. Your second primary color could be yellow, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm going to do yellow. Remember, when I do the edge, I'm not doing the bottom part, okay? So you should have three in between. Then my last primary color is blue, so you're going to skip one, two, three more, and you're going to outline blue, okay? Those are the only three colors you're going to work on today. All right? Now, just a reminder, you're going to start at the top one on every single one, and you're going to skip, and you're going to do every other one. So like for blue, you're going to do the top, skip, blue, skip, blue, okay, and so on. Once again, I do not expect you to get done with this today. In fact, if you're taking your time, you might, you most likely won't, and that's totally fine. If you did a really good job on your practice and you decide to start being sloppy on your final one, Mr. O has the right to tell you to start over as well. That is exactly what I would do if I was there and you were not taking your time and making it sloppy, okay? The way that this illusion for this project is going to work is if you guys take your time and you shade correctly, um, if you... Are sloppy and you try and take shortcuts it's it's not gonna look right and it's not gonna look nice okay I will be the one grading your projects so I will be able to tell if you took your time or not okay so once again you're only allowed to do those three primary colors today you're gonna skip every other one if you do not get done with your three primary colors today that is just fine you can keep working on them next time